South Africa is a beautiful part of the world. From its breathtaking beaches, where you can enjoy the surf and ride the waves, to its grassy interior, where so many wild animals roam. It truly is a place to witness God's creation. Within its beauty, we also see so much poverty. This is a story of 24 children living in challenging conditions in East London, South Africa. Through First Baptist partnership with Hoppy Pullman and the Nkhosa Gospel Mission, we are able to rescue some of these children from the harsh reality of their life in South Africa. Several years ago, we started with the first two children's home in a, a Melinda Forest, and there we uh, now we have 18 children in the homes there. Amazing little homes, and we have the concept of having uh, small family units within the home to recreate family. And then uh, we just had the need to start another one and then in Scenery Park. But praise the Lord, now we've got 24 children that are in our care. And now we're busy with the next two uh, homes and probably we'll have another 16 children uh, to add to that. And we just thank God for what God is doing amongst the children. But our whole purpose is that these children will really come to know uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the motivation behind what we are doing. The home at Scenery Park was funded entirely by First Baptist Spartanburg. Living in this home are six children with a house mother named Clara. As you can see, these children are given a clean, safe place to grow with a godly influence in their lives. The need for homes like this are plentiful. Because of this, we are now building two more homes at Scenery Park, which will allow us to shelter another 16 children. As construction continues, we want to ask you to partner with us in praying for these children. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can pray for these special children. Lord, we know they don't have moms or dads, and their lives must be very hard at times. We pray for each one of them, that they will know that they are loved by boys and girls from across the ocean in America that want to see them have a safe home to live in and people who will love them. So Lord Jesus, be with these boys and girls. Help us to remember to pray for them. And Lord, will you most of all, let them know that you love them very dearly, that you died for them so that they could have a Father, eternal Father forever and ever. We love you so much, dear Lord Jesus. And we pray this in your special name. Amen. As construction continues, we want to ask you to partner with us in helping these children. There are three ways you can do this. First, you can pray. Please pray for the leaders of the Closer Gospel Mission. Pray that they will follow the path that God has laid out for them. Pray for the house moms and the children living in these homes. Pray that God will reveal himself to them so that they will come to know him as their Lord and Savior. Secondly, you can go. We need to send teams to help with construction. You don't have to be a contractor. We need willing, hard-working people who have the desire to go and just be a pair of hands with the construction of these homes. We need people who can interact with the children. While there, we have some contact with these children who just need to see God's love through us. Language is not a barrier there. Most of the children do speak some English, so the time we spend with them is very interactive and enjoyable. We will receive as much, if not more, of a blessing than they do. Going simply involves a willing heart. Don't think you can't go because of your age or financial situation. Trust God to provide for you and to use you in ways you never thought possible. Finally, you can give. This mission will not happen without financial support. Through our global impact offering, we will make sure that the funds are used where they are needed most. Nothing is too small. Every dollar 
makes a difference in the lives of these children. As you can see, there is a lot of work to do. But with your help, we can change the lives of children in this small part of the world.